Hazleton Police Chief Frank D'Angia remembers 9-11 like it was yesterday, 13 years ago. He was a state trooper who responded to the crash scene at flight 90, of Flight 93 in Shanksville, Pennsylvania, and he sat down with our Lisa Sugar. 9-11 is certainly one of those days, like the Kennedy assassination, that the landing of man on the moon, if you were alive, you remember where you were and what you were doing and how many people gathered around the television set. I, I was probably blessed and cursed to have been a Pennsylvania State Trooper. And at the time, the state police were setting up mobile computers. They didn't have them statewide yet in their police cars. I was assigned to that project. And when the planes hit the World Trade Center, and then we learned of Flight 93, crashing in Shanksville, Pennsylvania. Every police officer that I know wanted to be there and do something to help. I was fortunate to have the idea to take the only 10 mobile computers in existence in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania for the state police. And we drove them out to the Flight 93 crash site and we set up a perimeter using the mobile computers by placing them in battery packs in the patrol cars because there were thousands upon thousands of people from the American public. I remember a pickup truck from Texas with a, a husband, a wife, a, fa you know, a father and a mother and two children, and they had driven all night and they just needed to come and see the site and then they turned to go home. But because of the intelligence gathering, the state police were inundated with having to run every registration plate and check every person that came anywhere near this terrorist act. And so we set up the mobile computers for the first time and we used them in Shanksville. And um, that's how I ended up driving across the state and, and working the Flight 93 crash. Um, and then being invited back for President, President Bush's uh, one year anniversary ceremony. I've become personal friends with many of the, s the family members of the people who died and gave their life that day on that. Um, to this day, I still receive a, a Christmas ornament from the Peterson family. Um, Campbell and Peyton lost their grandparents. Hamilton lost his mother and father and I became friends with them, and as a thank you for me taking time and trying to make it a memorable day, a, memor a, a memorable day in a pleasant way for those children, the mother Julia sends me a Christmas ornament every year. She happens to be an attorney that works at the White House, and uh, that is very touching to me. It keeps me grounded, it keeps me tied to that, but I will never forget that day. Um, I tell the story to my kids. We cherish those Christmas ornaments. They stay out year round in our break front, in you know, a place of honor to be displayed. Um, I can only hope as things are currently unfolding with ISIS, Al Qaeda, Congressman Barletta's new legislation, refugee centers, that the United States will remember 9-11 and what occurred. Because if you don't remember and understand history, it repeats itself. And I could only hope that no one will ever have to live through another 9-11 again. Special thanks to Chief DeAndrea for sharing his very emotional story.